Good morning. These are the predictions and betting tips for the football matches playing today. That is on Wednesday, 10th January 2024. Today, this video is split into two sections. The first section, I provide you normal predictions. That is the home team to win. Double chance market, over 1.5 goals. And in the second section of this video, this particular day, we are to have the corners betting tips for football matches playing today. And let me assure you one thing. The corner games that we have available for betting on today, they come with juicy odds and they have higher probabilities of winning. I feel confident in almost all the corner games I am going to be mentioning today. So if it is your first time joining us over here at the Must Better Betting Tips YouTube platform, please ensure that you are doing this right away. Click the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and ensure you like the video, watching it till the very end. Yesterday was a Tuesday, and we were lucky enough to be in a position to win the bet that I did recommend, the double chance bet and the corner over 9.5 bet, which happened to record 15 corners in total. In short, 1.7 odds that I did recommend yesterday was in a capacity to deliver us victory. The other matches that we have yesterday playing, or we had yesterday playing, and never really performed as expected. The likes of Chelsea going ahead and playing matches are losing. It's still, I'm still shocked with how Chelsea performed yesterday. I can't really understand how they were able to record such baffling results in a game that they were the clear favorites. So we apologize, you know, I, I know I'm not supposed to be apologizing, but we feel sorry for all the Chelsea fans. And uh, we also feel sorry for ourselves as sports betters for putting our hopes and trusting in the Chelsea team to deliver us victory yesterday. Now done with that, we now get into the first section of the video where we are to have the football predictions playing today. We have Fenerbahce playing Konyaspo, a game from Turkey Superliga. You know, when we look at this game, there is nothing to talk about except the fact that uh, Fenerbahce, they are in better form and capacity to record a victory in this particular game, given that in their last five matches, we have, some the, we have seen them, uh, we have witnessed them dominating and winning. That is four wins, one draw. And I expect that that alone is enough to justify their victory in this particular game. So Fenerbahce win, the odd is 1.205. Then we have Liverpool playing Fulham, England League Cup. In this particular match, once again, I believe that England, uh, that is the Liverpool side, they are in a capacity to deliver us victory, given that in the last four matches Liverpool played, they recorded four wins and one draw. And their away team, they have two losses, one draw, and the others are two wins. So technically, it is a Liverpool victory. And there is this player we want to mention when we are looking at this particular game. This player that we are to mention is known as a... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, Ibrahim Konate. Ibrahim Konate. Playing for Liverpool. We are expecting Ibrahim Konate to be in a position to deliver us over 2.5 tackles in this particular game. So we are to bet on this option too or consider betting on it. The odd is lucrative 2.30, you know, juicy odds. That if wins, you are going to be in extremely ecstasy. I mean, you're extremely going to be blissful and thankful that the game won. And then our next game that we are having is this particular game. It is Milan playing Atalanta from Coppa Italia. I believe that in the Milan and Atalanta game, the game uh, is in a position to deliver us over 1.5 goals. Uh, both teams have stepped up and they are showing that they have the ability to give us goals. Quickly to mention, I know yesterday I talked about Fiorentina match. Uh, we mentioned that over 1.5. But the odds yesterday are really different with the odds that we are presented today in the Milan vs. Atalanta match. And the statistics around these two matches are a bit different. So... Please do not worry. Milan vs. Atalanta 
is supposed to deliver us victory and I am backing Milan to be the you know the favorites as the favorites I still think that they have the ability to win this particular match then we have Benfica playing Braga from Portugal Taka de Portugal it is a bet on Benfica to win or a draw to Oka and finally from Turkey Superliga Adana Demispor playing in Istanbul Spor a victory for Adana Demispor is what I am backing and I must quickly mention that Adana Demispor in their last 5 matches they have not been consistent they have one win two losses and two draws that is the team we backed to win and then Istanbul Spor in their last 5 matches they have one win and four losses so maybe that alone might help you decide on which teams you are to ignore which teams you are to include in your bet slip now over to the second section we are having the corners betting tips playing today four matches 5.116 lucrative odds the bet that i just mentioned the matches that i mentioned initially they are giving us a summation of 3.2 something odds that is if you are to bet on them as combined or uh, in a an accumulator format now in our next bet slip we have milan playing atalanta from coppa italia and the first betting tip this is the corner betting tip for today is backing the milan vs atalanta match to be in a position to give us over 7.5 corners the odd is 1.260 i expect at least 9 corners in this particular game easily that is why i decided to go for the over 7.5 market then we have a game from portugal championship under 23 that is santa clara under 23 santa clara under 23 playing against mafra under 23 In this particular game I must mention that uh, it's one match that I expect a high number of corners but the reason why we are betting on over 8.5 corners at an odd of 1.43 is that uh, there is something that the book is I don't know if it's a uh, wrong pricing of the odds but technically based on my analysis the Santa Clara under 23 versus Mafra under 23 I feel Uh, I feel that uh, they are in a position to give us around 12 corners uh, based that the home team they average around 7 corners per game Mafra averaging around 13 I mean 5 corners per game that is 8 plus 5 giving us a 13 but now what the book is are giving us for example on the over 12.5 on the over 10.5 doesn't really seem to be encouraging us to go really high and that is why we are going down and uh, lowering down our expectations and uh, you know our motivation so we bet on over 8.5 which i believe is also supposed to occur then now these two last games that i'm about to mention this is now where the juice of the video is blackpool playing button albion football england league trophy blackpool playing uh, the button game blackpool playing button albion football england league trophy this one game one match that i feel really happy about and i see that if today we are to have an amazing day then blackpool and burton game blackpool and burton game albion i mean this match is supposed to really play a big role in solving that puzzle of having an amazing day over 8.5 corners at another 1.55 i must also mention that i still feel confident that uh, at the end of the day the black bull and uh, albion game we are talking about 14 corners in total at the end of the match so you might live bet and uh, factor in that if you are to bet on this game during live and then the final game that is the spain super cup real madrid playing atletico madrid one hell of a game that we have for today once again Uh, I acted right away that uh, the moment I saw that Real Madrid Atletico Madrid presented me a valuable offer on the over 10.5 uh, corners market that is the moment I staked on the game because I never wanted to you know forget so I also shared it on Telegram the game to me seems interesting and uh, with no doubt I say that uh, Real Madrid Atletico Madrid over 9.5 corners at an odd of 1.85 seems to be a very amazing option to back today i think that it's going to be giving us a you know higher value higher value the last two matches i've just mentioned blackpool playing barton albion 
Real Madrid playing Atletico Madrid, especially Real Madrid playing Atletico Madrid. I really love them because to me they are games you can stake on them as single matches going high or not even high, staking responsibly and still be in a position to triple your winnings, to double your winnings. And that is what we are after at the end of the day. So just to quickly sum it up, the games that I really think today we are supposed to be, you know, putting our focus on. The first one is Real Madrid at Atletico Madrid. The corner market, pick something out of that particular game. That is for you to decide how much you want to go, how high you are going to go. Then we have Blackpool playing Albion Barton. In that particular game, I must also mention that I love the corner market and it is your duty, your responsibility to figure out uh, to find out which market, which margins you are going to be backing. And finally, it is going to be a game from the normal market uh, where we have these particular matches. I really think that Fenerbahce, Konyaspo, I'll be unfair if I'm to leave the match out. Fenerbahce, Konyaspo, Fenerbahce victory, that one is 1.205. So those are three matches that I really recommend you to try. Include them in your final bet slip. Picking out an option, you know, finding a way that you can really tail them, that you can back them. And I wish you nothing but amazing success. Ensure that you are watching the video that is having the link pinned in the comment section. And most importantly, if the video was valuable and proved to show you some angle that you might use to approach betting today, the very least that I ask out of you is to please share the video with your friends on Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, Pinterest, TikTok, uh, X. I mean, share it everywhere. Share it even to your ex, no? Yeah, that is it. So for now, goodbye, take care, and I hope to see you tomorrow Thursday in amazing form, in amazing health, as we discuss the England Premier League matches and the Game Week matches playing on Friday, Saturday, Sunday.